Hi, I'm Josh. I'm Ollie. And I'm the chef from Sorted, Ben, and today I've brought you guys to Fallow. Because you're going to be introducing us today to British food that's actually good. British food that's exceptional. Oh, okay. All right. I'm putting the bar up there straight away. I like that. Let's <laughs> follow you in. Follow me in. <laughs> Thanks for having us, man. Well, it's not my place, it's just one of my favourite places. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, I see, I see. You've said exceptional British food. I think the best meal I've had so far this year in this restaurant. So not just the best British meal? No, full stop. Whoa. Is there anything you this don't need? This is a dream. This I mean, I know you eat everything. Yeah. I literally have eaten a bull's penis, oh, so yeah, I'll eat anything. I can't guarantee that, but we'll see if we can find your hung sausage, <laughs> oh, maybe. <my> <laughs> Oh, wow. This is a venison salami and a pig's head press. Venison salami? What was that, sorry? Pig's head. So basically, That's... all the heads, confit down, um, loads of herbs, and then pick down with loads of beef sauce. I would say that is celebration of Britain, yeah. but with all the influences of Europe. Let's do this. Right, Let's dig in. Go in. Yeah, go in. Wow. That's so good. Oh. Oh, that is okay. a distinct flavour. It's not strong flavour at all. It's not like chorizo or anything like that. Yeah, it's really it's deliciously subtle. Get involved in the straight. pig's head. Oh, the pig's head. Yes. And isn't it all about like what you call it? Like, if you yeah. just said that was a pork terrine or something like that, no one would question it. But uh, the fact that they straight out there is pig's head. This is like nose to tail cooking. Mm. Celebrate the I whole love, I animal. I like that. Oh, it is good. Oh, you wouldn't know it's a head. It doesn't taste heady. You don't feel any thoughts in there or anything. It just tastes like pork. Really good. It's pork. just good, like almost slow cooked, almost pulled yeah, pork. Yeah. Mm. Clearly, food is hugely important in your life. It makes me who I am. Where did that? <laughs> Quite, <laughs> Quite literally. literally. Yeah. How? Where did that inspiration come from? Well, I grew up in a very foodie family. Pretty much didn't have a ready meal or didn't even know what a ready meal was. Pretty much until like left for uni and other people were eating them. And I think that's where, to some extent, even sorted started. Was yeah. the rest of the guys also went to uni and suddenly yeah. like. Oh, how do we cook? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was that like yeah. sharing of recipes Allow all that me time to again. guide you, my padder ones. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they need all the help they can get. <laughs> they still do. What? Twelve <laughs> years later, <laughs> which says which says everything about what kind of a teacher I am. <laughs> okay. Do you want oh to go? Yeah, let's go for this. Yeah. Well, give a squeeze. Yeah. So corn ribs, I feel like a super trendy. Like, what they toast these or kind of sprinkle these in is the leftover chili after they've made their in-house sriracha. So they make sriracha sauce, then all the chilies, okay, then get put over here. I love how extra this is. <laughs> It's so good. And why have corn if you can have it in a rib shape? Honestly, if you just gave me a cold beer and a plate of these, oh I'm happy. Oh my god. Mm. Oh, and now I really want a beer. That's got to be the ultimate bar snack. Don't get me wrong, I love a pork rib. Mm. I love a beef rib. Mm. Yeah. But there is, or a chicken wing. Uh -huh. But there's something about the mm -hmm. corn here that's just so good. I mean, for me, this just tastes like a Cheeto, but a hundred times more <laughs> natural. You well, know? But yeah. real, real it's food. It's some sort of corn or maize pop yeah. snack. It's like Mother Nature's Cheetos. Oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we load you up now with a few different bits. There's okay. some mushroom parfait. And um, we've kind of built this mushroom tree room downstairs. We've been okay. able to kind of enhance the parfait and grow our own mushrooms on site. Wow. <laughs> this is a tartar. So you had the venison salami, but then this is all the horn. And then just served raw because it's such a soft meat. And then all of this is basically like beef tendon, dehydrated and fried. So it's basically like pork scratchings, but Beef, like. Beef tender. Yeah, yeah. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thanks, Chef. Fantastic. First off, I'm going to say what we're all thinking. Especially underneath, right? It does look, yeah. When you watch them pipe yeah. it, oh, really? even oh, more okay. so. Even okay. more so. Yeah. I mean, it's almost like an emoji. <laughs> but honestly, yeah. I love a bit of parfait. Oh. Is that not the most mushroomy thing you've ever had? Oh, my. Oh. My gosh. Unbelievable. Literally parfait, using the French word for perfect, right? Uh, is that what that is? Pretty much okay. what it is. And you can see like there's a lot of mushrooms and textures going on in there. I was not expecting that to be that good. If that's the only thing we eat today, like I'm happy. That's unbelievable. Yeah. Check please, check please. <laughs> you are some of the few YouTubers who've been around for a fair bit longer than us. We've been doing it a long it? time. But as the chef in a group of four starting a food YouTube channel all together, it must be quite a lot of pressure. Yes, <laughs> but I, I would say that pressure only lasted a few months because my fear was, what if I run out of recipes? Right. And then right. very quickly I realised food is, as we're seeing today, yeah. literally limitless. Okay. If you're a musician, you've only got eight notes yeah. to play with and you can still create more music. Yeah. So if yeah. we've got hundreds of ingredients to play with, it's limitless. Wow, I wonder what's coming next. What is that? So this one splits the room a little bit. Oh, all right. Okay. <laughs> I like that. Gird your loins, lads. Yeah. On the menu is uh, whipped salmon belly with marabou 
Ceramic Grill. It's all about the salmon belly trimming. Take that and make it to a parfait mousse sort of style thing. Oh. With yogurt, butter, uh, a little bit of cream. Pipe it inside of bone marrow, and then the inside yeah. of that bone marrow is what we use to flavour the brioche. Okay, so this is... Brioche oh. soaked in bone marrow. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm just trying it by itself, and that is absolutely... There's, there's mousse in there. Yeah, that's the, that's that's the, the, that's the, that's the salmon. That's the Benny salmon. Moose he was talking about. So they take a chubby salmon, yep. they cut off his paunch, yeah. <laughs> and make it into a kind of toothpaste inside a... Oh, inside it's a got a fabulous yeah, colour, isn't it? It's amazing. This is... Wow. I mean, yeah. that is hella good. That's crazy good. So this is our, uh, one of our secret dishes, it's our uh, hogshead. So what? Yeah. Literally just came from really asking our fish supplier what was in his bin on that day. And no. he sent in like the most obscene amount of hogsheads we've ever seen. <laughs> and then we got a hacksaw from being and sawing them in half. And then we cook it over the charcoal, so it's really smoky. And the sauce is, sauce is, is So this is sriracha. So we make our own sriracha from chilies that we grow in Asia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. on our website. Yeah, <laughs> fantastic, um, fantastic. We yeah. also buy it into like a garlic butter sauce yeah. uh, for this dish wow. and then just drench it all over the content. So. Garlic butter sriracha. These are words I love. Okay, <laughs> fantastic. I mean, that, that cod has had a bad day. Look at it. <laughs> I think we're going to have a great day as a result of it, though. There's a, a few areas to sort of go for. You've got the cheek here, the collar, which is like really tender, white, flaky meat. So then one of you is going to have to eat the eyeball. Shotgun. <laughs> yeah, okay. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if you can see. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh dear, oh dear. Okay, I thought it would be more cooked than that. I'm gonna be honest, boys, this is a surprise to yeah, me. I was yeah. not expecting even, this. Even Ben is rattled. That's the biggest cod eyeball I've ever seen in my life. Don't swallow the whole thing. I, this, this, I don't think you're supposed to eat everything. Gonna try. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. Um, I, I thought you're supposed to chew around the little hard middle bit. And I can't then decide if Will was just pulling our leg when he said that. Yeah, I mean, he went. You shotgunned it, Ollie. It tastes like a fishy egg. Mm hmm. Because it's just yeah. protein, right? So I'm going to be honest, that was out there. Because one of the best things I like is like monkfish cheeks, cod cheeks, yeah. pig's cheeks. Like the cheek is amazing. And that's okay. the bit I was excited okay. for. I'm glad you did that bit. <laughs> and to think all of this would have ended up in the bin. Oh, yeah, that's kind of crazy, hey? Sorry, I'm still want, chewing the eye. Do you want some. Have some throat. Have some throat, some throat to see if you can like wash it down. Okay. Cheers. Cheers, indeed. Look at this. Oh. Yeah. Oh. From the char, from the, so you can see them like grilling it over, like, over, the, oh, wow. over the flame. Which is why it's so char grilled. That is phenomenal. And it's kind of a bit of like a little treasure chest. You have to just keep digging until you find something good. Yeah, there really is. And look at this. And it's, again, mm. flakes so well. Yeah. Mm. Oh my god, this is incredible. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh that, that cod's We were was just saying this, it's, it's an experience. And amazing. An incredible, and amazing. amazing. What on earth is oh going on here? Right, so, this is our UKX dairy. <laughs> Typically, the beef we eat is, is usually about two years old. This is okay. 12 years old. It's a granny cow. Long, yeah, exactly. Real old cow. It's this beautiful yellow fat on the outside, oh. so it tastes really, really herby. So, we serve it with a peppercorn sauce. Lovely. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm. Wow. See, it's just so beefy and so delicious. This ex dairy cow. And where has this been all my life? Uh, making milk. <laughs> yeah, 12 years of it, I've been making milk. <laughs> oh. I thought we might have peaked at the cod's head. Every plate just gets better. It really does. But I feel like the British have a bad reputation. Yeah. And I feel like places like this are undoing that. Yeah, I mean, day. this is amazing. It's not like an advert for Ballo or anything. <laughs> but I, I highly recommend you all come. Yeah, seriously, if you want really good British food. That's good lot, mate. Okay, there this, so we this go. This doesn't, uh, this, this is crazy. So yeah, this is a uh, way tart. So way is obviously like a cheese yeah. surplus. Poor guy cycled it from Bermondsey. 
we like with cheese juice, all cheese pale, juice, all yeah. pale cheese juice. We reduce it right down, and then we set that into a custard tart. This is our latest creation, chocolate mousse, but infused with uh, all of our mushroom stalks, and then we serve it with some really beautiful, fresh golden enoki mushrooms. Wow. <laughs> So I know this is good because I've had this okay, before, but I want you. This is new for all of us. Like right, well, mushroom and chocolate with truffle yeah. eggs. That shouldn't. That shouldn't work. It really shouldn't. Cheers. That is the most adult chocolate mousse. And I don't mean like X-rated, I just mean like grown up. <laughs> I love food that just makes you think. And that, like as a chef, I'm just genuine. puzzled by it, but at the same time delighted by it. But it's not like, <laughs> what is that face? I honestly don't really know what to think. It's like crazy jazz, you know? That like okay. non-melodic, okay. it just goes crazy, okay. going all in different directions. Yeah. And it's got artistic merit. Yeah. But it's almost impossible to listen to. <laughs> okay, okay. I think your analogy of jazz is that, like that, that has been made for jazz musicians yeah. okay. to push the boundaries of yeah. what is clever yeah. and possible oh. and yeah. perfectly balanced. But that's probably not the dessert for everyone at the table. Yeah. It's so intense. Yeah. If it's playing in a lift on a building taller than five stories, <laughs> you're going to take the stairs. Take the stairs. Of <laughs> yeah. I think this one is going to be. You think I'm gonna like this? You? Just look at the wobble on it. Like, oh, that's incredible. So, whey, okay. Cheese juice, that, that's what whey is. Yeah, so curds and whey. We take the curds and we turn it into cheese, but the whey is often wasted. Well, it's, no, it's not wasted. It, it's what all the meatheads drink, right? What do you mean meat? You're right, yeah, it's reduced down into powder form and you add yeah. it into your... Uh, Protein shake. I knew what he meant, yes. but I, I yeah. didn't advocate okay. that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the, it's got a very distinct smell to it. Oh, wow. Oh, that is so much more rich than I was expecting. Mm. It's just mm. caramel. Yes. It's slightly cheesy. It is the deepest flavor of caramel I think yes. I've ever tasted. And yet not, mm. not to the point where it becomes like bitter caramel, no. but, it, but neither is it super sweet. No. It's that kind no, of. No, it's not too sweet. On that fence between Somehow. the two. How on earth? Is it not too sweet? It's wow. amazing. I'm very happy, man. I want more of it. I want more of this, whatever it was. For me, it's just like super delicious, clever and respectful food because you're literally respecting every part yeah. of the yeah, animal and or plant yeah. before it gets to your plate. I'm kind of speechless. Yeah. I'm kind of, a bit like after listening to Crazy Jazz for about <laughs> half an hour. <laughs> uh, and in the meantime, guys, we'll see you jolly soon. Bye. Bye.